Hey everyone, it's Lauren here. Look what I've done. I've kicked it all off and I've already created things for this process video. But as I was sitting down putting this layout together, I hadn't originally thought that I would be doing a process video. And then the light was right and the, day, the time of day was right. And I thought I'll just put my camera on. So that's why you see the envelope is already made and I'd already cut that piece of cardstock to fit in that envelope. Now, the reason... As you saw at the beginning, this is was created as part of the Hip Kick Club design team for a sketch challenge. Now, I designed this sketch. This is one of the hardest sketches I've ever done. So I have, I learned a big lesson that when I'm asked to create a sketch, I need to be nice to people out in the universe and create a sketch that isn't as tricky as this one. But it was really interesting. This challenge is over now and uh, the Hip Kick Club does a weekly challenge and a, a couple of weeks ago this sketch challenge was the weekly challenge and people can submit their entry and have a chance to win a $10 gift card for the Hip Kick Club store. So people have used this sketch and they I have to say they did a much better job than I did <laughs> so if you're interested in checking out how other people transform this sketch I encourage you to go over to the hip kick club Facebook group and check out in the announcement section you'll see all the past challenges and these gorgeous crazy sketch of mine um, is is there and people have done an amazing job and yeah um, yeah oh, that's I'll just leave it at that this one stumped me I always fall back on things that feel comfortable with me when I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed and things aren't coming together and that's mixed media and in our color kit for March we got these beautiful beautiful uh, mixed media mousses by from Nuvo and it was a pink and a yellow and I just wanted to blend them up and just create a little bit of a transition from that envelope onto my page and just applying that little bit of mixed media you'll see that that's that's sort of done there I also wanted to add some splatters so I've just watering down some of that mousse and you'll see that um, the yellow watered down really well but for the pink I really had to work it so I think each individual color of the mousse um, seems to work a little bit differently uh, in the previous month we also got a, a lovely la lilac color as well and that watered down quite well so but you know me I just love a few splatters and some mixed media and so it had to be done but you know that I guess it's a good another good way of showing you what you can do with different mediums just adding some white watered down acrylic paint um, and adding a few of those splatters around just to sort of subtle that background down a little and just give another little bit of an interest point especially when I'm working on a white page um, I'm I'm able to do that and it looks quite nice so here I am using some of the exclusive hip kick club pocket cards and I often use these for layering up behind my photos as you can see I've got two photos there that I'm going to slip inside this envelope of my gorgeous pooch who recently had what a I guess you could call it a makeover she we went off um, we took her away on a mini mini family holiday um, just just before the world kind of closed its doors and said we can't go away anywhere um, and while we were in a little supermarket um, on this beachside village where we were sort of staying there was a dog grooming cafe and uh, so we went in there and we got some gorgeous she had a she had a pamper session she was bathed and clipped and and fluffed up and then they decided uh, we decided uh, that we would put some color in those gorgeous ears and that gorgeous tail and on her little chest and much to my gorgeous Katie's delight she came out looking like a unicorn really or a my little pony <laughs> Um, yeah, so this these photos were taken in March and today is the 26th of April when I'm doing this voiceover and she's still as colourful as those photos show. So it's not going any, 
anywhere anytime soon I think it'll be trimmed out before it washes out and it was only meant to be a semi-permanent so I'm not sure how that I'm not sure how that worked but she looks delightful and she's definitely when we go for our walks the talk of the talk of the the riverbank that I usually walk along so yeah so part of the sketch I had some stars sort of sprinkling up into the corner and I didn't want to put stars on this layout but these gorgeous frames that were on a uh, pocket life card I just fussy cut them out and had them sprinkling up there and as you can see I've used some cards just to map my photos and that really just as you can see this layout's coming along and it's about to get crazy busy and I didn't want to lose the photos in all that craziness. So just adhering the envelope down. Now that envelope, I'm not an expert at envelope making. I literally just typed it into Google and up came a like a tutorial in images and I just followed it. I honestly thought I was getting a square and then out it popped as a rectangle. <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, yeah, I honestly thought I'd be getting a six by six inch square from my piece. And then when I just followed all the instructions, out came this sort of like office size, DL size envelope. And I'm just like, oh, whatever, I'm going with it. This sketch was freaking me out as enough as it was. And um, and I thought, well, let's just roll with this and see where it goes. And at, to be honest, in the end, this turns out to be quite a delightful little layout. One that my little girl Katie absolutely adores because it's of this beautifully made over pooch and it is all these beautiful colors. So she loves it. And if your children love it, then it is a layout that you've aced. That's they're your biggest critic, honestly. When I share a layout with my daughter or my children, uh, they are and they delight in it. Well, I think I've won, and that layout is that layout ticks its box for me. So in our March kits, we got so many gorgeous products. Like I'm telling you, it was jam fact packed full of embellishments this new collection by Jen Hadfield was some of the elements that we got I think it's called hey hello and it had these great floral sticker sheets it has alphabets it has um, ephemera it had every any like it it was the best pack to kind of get if you wanted a you didn't need to add anything you've got it all in these kits to make numerous beautiful pretty gorgeous layouts and these flower clusters really really just won won my heart and it really enabled me to settle this layout down by using these gorgeous floral embellishments that are really eye-catching it has a way of settling a layout down those hearts on that envelope were quite bold that background with the mixed media is quite bold so I was looking for ways to subtly sort of settle it down fill things up, make sure my photos aren't getting lost and, you know, adding, and here you can see as I'm trying to add some bigger embellishments to help draw yourself away from all that, that busyness that's going on in the background whilst remaining focused on not losing my photos, if that all makes sense. So yeah, so I'm pulling out some of that Jen Hadfield um, ephemera. Now that ephemera pack is really a card maker's dream. It had lots of card makers kind of sentiments and, you know, it was really beautiful, but clearly I'm not a card maker. Um, so I had to work out a way that I could use some of those elements, but cover up some of the script and so I thought I'd make a little cluster up here in the corner which is also part of the sketch I had a little bit of a, a thing going on over there and I would um, I'd make a sort of a secondary title I don't know this is this is a good thing to try and uh, if you're wanting to challenge yourself and not wanting to take on this crazy sketch challenge which I I'm telling you no one's going to get upset with you if you don't go there <laughs> um, is I challenge you to create a layout that has two titles. So as you can see, I'm working on a title here, but that ephemera piece down the bottom, Sending Good Vibes, uh, is 
and a secondary title. So as you can see, they're not taking away from each other. They're both still standing out and they both still are relevant. So I want to challenge you. Um, I'd love you if you do take up the challenge to tag me when you share your layout on doing a secondary title on your layout and seeing if you can make it work. Um, yeah, I'd really love to see that. Or if you do this often, tag me in some of your projects that you've already done because I really enjoy doing that as well. And sending good vibes. That couldn't be more perfect when I'm dealing with an envelope, but really. <laughs> So the the March hip kits were looking after me when I was trying to tackle this crazy sketch challenge that I made myself and tortured myself with. <laughs> but as you can see, it's sort of coming together. I feel like I'm sort of losing the envelope feature, but I think with things like sentiments, like sending good vibes, it sort of makes you look for further things and you kind of make out that, well, there is an envelope in there somewhere. But yeah, so I hope you like this layout. Here I am in that last stage of um, putting on embellishments. Um, at the moment, you can see I'm probably going embellishment crazy, but I don't know. It's my vibe at the moment. I, I think I, I'm loving playing with scrapbooking and just putting little bits and pieces on wherever you can. The one thing with this kit, it is so full of goodies that you kind of feel, you know, when you want to hoard things, you want to hide things away and use them for another time. There's that many gorgeous goodies in these kits that you kind of go, yeah, yeah, I'm just going to use it. I'm going to use it up. And and I'm so glad I did because my layouts tend to be more intricate and I think I tend to get more of the therapeutic value that that playing with paper and that playing with little bits and bobs and focusing on little sections a bit more and making some more clusters that tends to really just switch my mind into that creative mode and the rest of the world and all its worries or the jobs that I need to do, the dinner I need to make that night tend to slip away a little bit more. So as you can see, that that sketch where I really um, filtered those embellishments up into the corner and my title on that side's really come together. And there's my there's my layout. So I hope that you've enjoyed me watching me ramble, well, listening to me ramble and watching me kind of stumble through this layout. And um, I hope that it inspires you to you know, have a go at a double title spread or if you're feeling up to it, have a go at this sketch challenge. Look at me here. Can you believe what you're seeing right now? I have a sewing machine, something that I've always been quite fearful of, but now I'm I'm starting to add some sewing elements to my page. This was also adding a border on the sketch was um, adding a border was part of the sketch as well so this is a nice white cotton subtle way of um, achieving that and ticking that box for the sketch challenge so there you have it all right if you're new to my channel welcome this is probably not the best one for the first video but if you like it I'd encourage you to give me a thumbs up it helps my channel grow and take care guys happy scrapping bye